Hi, candidates. Let me hope you are safe from COVID. And before I begin my lesson, the same name, Tumes Shaban, is my name. And before I move any further, let me first request you to settle down. And for those who have just joined us, this is lesson five, science P7. So that means that you will, you will cross-check or you will revisit what we covered in the previous lessons so as we can uh, go together. Yes, let me hope you have settled down. And I will begin by the activity I left you with. So get a pencil. As we go through, you will be putting a tick where the response is correct. And I want you to be honest. Don't cheat yourself. If the answer is wrong, uh, uh, you accept that it is wrong by putting a cross. And where it is a tick or where you got it right, just put a tick. Good. Uh, so this is the activity that I left you with in the previous lesson. And uh, the first question is saying, name the organ in the human body that balances the amount of water needed by the body. How many of you passed that question? By show of hands? Good. What is the answer? Yes. Yeah, one can say kidney, another one can say kidneys, because there are two kidneys, but even if you say kidney, it's okay. Question two, which body system is responsible for the removal of urine from the body? By show of hands, how many of you are sure they got it right? Yes. So one can say excretory system, or one can say urinary system. Who can help us with the sparing of excretory? Yes, my girl. Let's go together. E, X, C, R, E, T, O, R, Y. The word is excretory. Then question three, why do babies urinate on their beds? How many of you have babies at home? Yes, by show of hands, yeah. So babies urinate on their beds, who can tell us? Yes. So we can say they have wink sphincter muscles. They have wink weak sphincter muscles. Do you know where sphincter muscles can be found or where we saw sphincter muscles? So we can have a flashback and the, the sphincter muscles, they are around this region. They are around this region, that's where they are. And as we saw, we saw that the sphincter muscles, they control the flow of urine. Meaning that with the babies, their sphincter muscles are still weak. So they have weak sphincter muscles, meaning that their sphincter muscles, since they are weak, they can't control urine or the flow of urine. Then question four, why are wetlands called kidneys of the earth? So on that question, it is the matter of relating kidneys and wetlands. Mind you, we saw that kidneys filter blood. So since wetlands also filter water or filter muddy water, then that means that wetlands are regarded or are similar in function to the kidneys. So the answer is they filter muddy water or they filter water. Yes. Next question, 
why does blood go to the kidney? By show of hands? Yes. So blood goes to the kidney, one can say, to be filtered. Or you can say, for filtration. And who can remind us the part where filtration takes place in the kidney? Yes, cortex. Then number six, which is the last question, what important process takes place in the following parts? One, cortex, who can help us? Yes, filtration of blood. Then another part is medulla, who can help us? Yes, by show of hands? Yeah, so the answer is reabsorption of water. Or one can say reabsorption of water, comma, salts, and sugar. But even if you say you just give one substance and you say reabsorption of water and you end there, it's okay. Because I've told you that those substances which are still needed by the body, along the kidney as blood is moving, such substances which are still needed by the body, they will join the body for the second time. So in science, we call that reabsorption. Reabsorption. So for the interest of time, that is the activity I left you with. Can I see those who got all the numbers right? Yeah. So now, without wasting time, let's go to the next uh, lesson of today. And we are still looking at the kidney, or we are still covering or seeing the kidneys. And in my lesson of today, I expect the following. Can you settle down? Yes, I expect you to know the kidney diseases. There are so many diseases that human beings face or suffer from, of which some attack the kidneys. So I expect you also to know some of the things one can call bad health habits that can endanger or that can damage the human kidneys. I also expect you to know what should we do to give care to the human kidneys. And you can ask yourself, why care? Yes, we have seen that the human kidneys are so vital, are so important as far as the human body is concerned, meaning that they need care. So can you settle down as we proceed? So without wasting time, let me first see those of you who can tell us some of the diseases that affect the human kidney before I show you my answers. Because in P4, we covered that with you. By show of hands? Ah, wow. So let's now compare your answers with mine. Wow, let's go together. The first disease is kidney stones. Wow, kidney stones. I know some of you asking themselves whether these are the real stones that we play with at home. No. Kidney stones is a disease of the kidney that results from eating raw salt. I mean the salt that is not boiled. So when it reaches somewhere in the urinal, <clears throat> bladder, then it will form things or substances that look like stones. And we shall see some of the signs of kidney stones. <clears throat> then we also have kidney failure. Like the name suggests, when you have kidney failure, that means that the kidney will fail to perform its uh, functions. It will fail to perform its function of filtering blood, its function of controlling the amount of water or even sugar or even salts in the body. So when you have kidney failure, the kidneys or your kidneys will 
fail to perform its duties. Then, who can read the next disease? Yeah, the next disease is bilhaziasis. Bilhaziasis. Can we go together by spelling it? Capital B, I, L, H, A, I, Z, I, A, S, I, S. The word is bilhaziasis. But even in some books, people call this disease, or scientists, we can also call it cystosomiasis. Cystosomiasis, as the second name, or as another name to mean bilhaziasis. And in P3, P4, even P5, you saw the vector for this disease. Who can remind us? Because I want to want to waste time on that. Yes, we have what we call fresh water snails. Then what causes? Yes, by show of hands. Ah, you people. Yeah, we can say cystosome, or one can say frial worms. Frial worms. Those are the germs that cause. Then the vector? Yes, fresh water snail. Then another disease is? Can we go together? Yes. Nephritis. What is the, ne the disease? Nephritis. Then another one is? The, 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 the next disease is? Cytosis. Cytosis. Then lastly is? Uremia. Uremia, which is a disease of the kidney. So, that means that in your free time, I want you to go, use your devices, you go to Google and find out the signs and the symptoms of the kidney diseases by yourself. Because by being candidates, we expect you to do what we call self-research. So, let's go through quickly. Kidney stones, yes. Kidney failure. Bilhaziasis, nephritis, cystitis, then uremia. Those are the kidney diseases. So without wasting time, we can have a look at some of the things that you think should be done to give care to the kidneys. Because the body has so many organs, so many organs of the body. We can talk of lungs, we can talk of the skin, we can talk of the, uh, the liver, the, 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 uh, the stomach, so many, and even the heart. So meaning that the human kidneys also need care. They need to be cared for. Who can guess why? By show of hands, boys and girls. Yes, yes, yes. These organs, if they are not cared for, one, they, we can end up, or they can, these organs can end up being affected by some of the diseases that we have seen. That means that if they get affected by some of the diseases that we have seen, that means that the kidney will fail to perform its duties. And once that one happens, who can guess what is likely to happen? Even other body organs will also be affected. And once that one die, happens, that means that it can lead to death. Because all the body organs will stop functioning or will function poorly. And that one will cause or can lead to death. How many of you would like to die at an young age? Huh? Yeah. So dying at your young at a young age is not good. And that's why we teach you how to care for the that's why we teach you how to care for the human kidneys. So without wasting time, let me think within one minute that I gave you, you have written some answers 
on how we can give care to the kidneys or to the human kidneys. So without wasting time, let's compare our answers with what I have. Yeah. And let's read or let's go th through these answers or we call them good habits or one can say good health habits. Good health habits. Meaning that these are some of the things which are good, which should be practiced by us, which we should do to give care to the kidneys. The first one, yes, we are saying doing daily physical exercises. And by show of hands, let me see those who know my carry out daily physical exercises. I know some of us now, we are lazy. We sit on our gadgets or on televisions from morning to evening, which is not good. So as you have seen, physical exercises are done for healthy reasons. And who can give us some of the examples of the physical exercises? Yes. So we can have running, good. We can have jogging, yes. We can have press-ups and very many others. At least out of those, get one and exercise. And who can tell us, why do you think physical exercise, how are they important in the maintenance of the human kidney? Yes, physical exercises, when we exercise, this increases blood circulation, or it increases the flow of blood to the kidney. Because when blood does not go to the kidney, the kidney will not have what to filter. So that means that when blood flows to the kidney, then the kidney will be able to carry out its function. Which function? Yes, the function of filtering blood. So physical exercise is help the kidney in performing its duties by increasing the flow of blood to the kidneys. Let's go have the next habit, which is avoid holding back urine for a long time. And most of you have that habit, most especially when you are watching a movie. You don't want to leave it halfway. So you hold the urine for a long time. So holding urine can weaken the urinary bladder, can also weaken the sphincter muscles. Which sphincter muscles we have said? Who can remind us? Yes, sphincter muscles help to control the flow of urine. So another one is going for medical examinations in case of long time back pains. And even if you don't feel long back pains, it is a good health habit once in a while, like in three months or in six months, to visit a doctor, a specialist. And you can guess why for this case? Yeah, to prevent kidney diseases. Or to find out if the kidneys are in good health conditions. It's bad to wait, not until you fall sick, that that's when I will go to visit the doctor. That is bad. So it's good once in a while to go for a medical checkup, and more so to with the kidneys. Then we can also have drink boiled water. Now that we are at home, we expect you to drink water. And which water should be clean and boiled? And why boiled water? Who can tell us? Yes, boiled water can prevent us from getting bilharziasis. That bilharziasis is a kidney disease. And at the same time, it is water borne. Why water borne? Yes, we say it is water borne because we can get it through drinking dirty water. So that's why we expect you to drink clean boiled water because the fresh water smells. 
which we have said spread bilharziasis. They use water as a bleeding place or as their habitat. So if you take water, which is not boiled, the other fiery worms, which are carried by freshwater snails, will enter into your body and you will get what we call bilharziasis. So another practice which is good is avoid taking alcohol. Avoid taking alcohol. So taking alcohol can also make the kidney fail to perform its duties. It will damage some of the parts, the cortex, where filtration occurs. Meaning that people who are alcoholics who take a lot of alcohol feel like going for short calls all the time. Why? It means that their system, their kidneys were damaged by alcohol. So meaning that if they ask you that state any two bad health habits that can endanger the kidney, who can tell us the answer? Yes, we can talk of taking alcohol or you can say alcoholism. Who can guess another one? Yes, another one is the last one. Taking excess raw salt. I mean the salt we put in food. Yes, much as salt is good, but it should be taken when it is boiled. The one which is raw from the socket, then you take, it is not good. And which disease of the kidney is associated with excess or taking excess raw salt? Who can help us? Yes, it is kidney stones. So I've said that kidney stones is associated with taking raw salts. So that means that alcoholism or taking alcohol, then also taking raw salt, and even taking excess sugar can also damage the kidney, can make the kidney fail to perform its functions. Good. So these are good health habits. We say they are good because they maintain the proper working of the kidneys. They make the kidneys perform their functions. Which functions? By show of hands? Yes, the first function of the kidney is filtration of blood. Another one is regulating, or one can say balancing, or one can say controlling the amount of water and even salts needed by the body. That's why I urge or advise you to observe the following if you are to have healthy kidneys. Because once they get damaged, then issues like kidney stones, things like bilharziasis, things like nephritis, I mean the kidney diseases will now knock into your body or will affect your kidneys and your kidneys will get diseases or will get problems at that age or at a young age, and which is not good. So before we look at the activity that I will leave you with, we can have just a flashback of what we have discussed briefly, then as I end my lesson. So we have looked at the diseases, diseases of the kidney or diseases of the urinary system. Because minus kidneys, we shall not have urine or urine will not be formed, or urine will not be expelled or removed from the body. So meaning that the kidneys are under urinary system at the same time under excretory system. So we have looked at, let's go, kidney stones. We have also seen kidney failure. We have also seen bilharziasis, which I've said is the same as 
cystosomiasis, which is spread by fresh water snails caused by fragile worms, or one can say Bilharzia flux. Those are the germs that cause. Then you can also have nephritis, then you can also have cystitis, then we can have, lastly, uremia as the disease of the kidney of the urinary system. Then we have also seen good habits that should be done to ensure that our kidneys do their functions. Then we have also seen under the good health habits that help the kidney to perform their function, we have also seen the bad health habits. Who can remind us one? One is alcoholism or taking alcohol, taking excess raw salt, also taking excess sugar. I know you like sugar, but make sure that as you take sugar, take regulated amounts or try to control the amount of sugar you take. So from there, we can have some of the pictures or activities. If it is doing regular exercises, these people are trying to exercise, as you can see. So you can see avoiding urine for long is not good. You can see pain now in the lower abdomen. We can also see this one. Who can tell us what this one doing? This one is urinating in water or in water sources. Meaning that when you do that, you will get which disease? By show of hands? Yes, we get Bihaziasis, you people. Then we can also have drinking clean and boiled water. The water should be clean and... Yes, why? Yeah, to avoid getting Bihaziasis, which is a waterborne disease. Yes, so briefly, that is... Uh, what we, we have seen or we have discussed concerning the kidneys. So without wasting time, let me end here. Then in the next whatever, that's when I will give you the activity. Thank you for being with me in this lesson. Bye. So this is the activity that we are going to do and it is covering what I have discussed with the U. And let me just go through it quickly. Name one waterborne kidney disease. Question two. Write down any two signs of kidney stones. You can use your gadgets and find out the signs and whatever. Then four. Mention any one drug of dependence that can damage the kidney. Five. Give any one way how regular physical exercises are important to the proper working of the kidney. Six, how are fresh water snails harmful to the human kidney? Seven, give one reason why blood from the kidney go back to the heart. Eight, state two bad health habits that can endanger the kidney. Then lastly, suggest any two ways through which one can care for the kidney. So you will visit the notes where you fail to get, you can do your own research by using those gadgets. Stay safe. Bye.